Okay, so we've made our plan and now we want to um, think about communicating that to people by printing it out. And Power Project has got fantastic abilities and it's simply the best when it comes to output. So, and that's really in, in uh, four areas. The first one is the ability to turn anything on screen on or off. And there's the format tab, there are a number of uh, icons um, so we can click on an item and we can say, well, I don't want to see the critical item. So that's suppressed, that red outline, or the, free, the total float, or the free float, or we could turn the uh, links themselves, just some of the links, the least important links called uh, non-driving links, or we could turn all of the links themselves on and off. So I can strip it back to be as uh, anodyne or as uh, clear as it as I can for both good and bad reasons uh, but also there's a graphical layer on top of the body of the plan so I can put text items pictures and any other windows object such as a spreadsheet or a uh, AutoCAD drawing for example on screen so if I click on the text annotation I can go onto the body of the plan I can draw a box and in that box uh, I can type anything I want such as this is uh, important uh, and in here we can change the size of this object by moving it around. We can set the font size uh, that we use for, for the whole thing or, or for part of it. Um, so we can set uh, 12 point fonts. Uh, we can double click on it and edit part of it. So we can choose part of it and make this bold uh, and red for example. So we can just pick out part of it. So it's very good for communication but when we pick up one of these annotations and go near an activity the cursor changes shape to what we call attachment pointers. And if I let go when, it's when this shape is on screen, this piece of annotation is connected to the top right-hand corner of this activity and will move around with it. And if it is connected to an activity, I can also embed in this sentence, if I right-mouse click, the same information that I can put in any of the columns uh, on the screen. So we can pick off just a key bit of information and communicate that uh, elegantly to uh, our audience. And so when this uh, item moves, that date will be updated. So here, for example, I can pick up the status line and by using the blue arrows, I can move this activity, in this case, one day at a time, or I can reschedule it and put it back to where it was. And that date, or whatever information it is, will always be correct. So we can do the same thing with um, a picture. We can uh, click on this item. We can go near an activity, get the attachment pointer. We can draw a box. We can let go. And then we're presented with this dialogue. And I can browse and find which activity, uh, which logo uh, I want to uh, find. So here I'm going to pick up this, uh, this picture. And we supply about a megabyte of uh, clip art that you can choose. You can choose different uh, appearances so we can see through this uh, file for example and so we can scale this and, and show uh, more or less information. So it really helps communicate whatever you've got uh, on screen to your audience. And there's one last thing I want to do before we send it to preview and show another feature and that is the ability to color in the activities in a structured way. So if I bring it back into view my uh, project view. On the left hand side there's a section called code libraries and there's a section here in this particular case called tray contractors. And I've entered various values in this area and I'll show you later on how we did that. So in this particular case we're not going to carry out the work ourselves various other people are going to do it on our behalf and we can take an organization from this list where we preset an appearance and we can drag and drop it onto an activity and then we can see visually, colourfully, what these different activities, which organisation they're being carried out by. And we can either display that on the, in a column on the body of the plan. We could put it as a uh, text annotation after each activity. Or we can uh, select, in this case, more than one activity. And we can put a single code onto two. Uh, and so we can see that appearance on screen. But later, when we preview that or print it out, we can see that information presented on screen. And we can, at this point, uh, with PowerPoint, we wrap around the output that we're going to create what we call a border. And you select that border 
and you can edit that border from a list. And so we can choose one that we might have used previously and then it scales our diagram to fit, in this case, a single page, but we can choose many different, uh, to fit on many different pages. Uh, and we can edit this border, which comes with a graphical editing tool called the Power Draw. So we can zoom in on just an area of the, of the scheme, for example, and we want to drop a logo in here, which we've got uh, on uh, disk. So we just click on this new picture icon, we draw a box in this area, and we go away and we find our picture that we're going to embed, usually a company logo, our own or our clients. And so we can then scale this around uh, however we want, and when we return to our plan, saving those changes, we're going to in integrate those changes into our plan. So in that way, you can have a very elegant output from the um, the fact that we've wrapped a border around it, we can see as a legend, which is optional, we can turn it on and off, what these different colours and patterns mean and which trade contractor they represent. And our plan is scaled on, pay, on paper and we're not left with any uh, nasty white space that we would get with other systems like Microsoft Project. Uh, and the clarity of presentation is second to none. So Power Project is the best tool for presentation, both at a bidding stage and also at a project and project control stage.